What's up, guys? Welcome to TY Talk. We talk about the real and the real is what I'm getting ready to spill. Now, we get into Finance Fridays. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Listen, we're talking about finances. Just to put a disclaimer out there, I'm no financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. So don't look at me for financial advice. <laughs> I think that's something I was supposed to say uh, because people be getting sued behind their financial advice because people just, you know, legal reasons, I guess. But listen, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all today the reason that saving is important and the reason that I decided to save. Speaking of savings, you need to go save this book right here. Who is God? ABCs. I started writing this book because I felt led to write this book so people can know more things about God little kids especially but this really is beneficial to the parents that will be teaching their children about christ teaching their children about god to learn more about his character so not only will your child learn their abcs but you will learn more about god while teaching them and i really want to encourage y'all to go purchase my new book it is out now the link is in the description and make sure you go get it buy it for your cousin your nephew your niece your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your sister, your brother. It is a very valuable book that I truly believe will benefit someone. So what encouraged me to start saving is this statistic here. Well, one of these statistics. And that is, according to Forbes, 63% in 2016, of course, 63% of Americans don't have enough savings to cover a $500 emergency. So when I read it, I was like, whoa. And for those of you who don't listen to a Christian radio station, I listen to Moody Radio. Um, I used to when I had a car. I used to listen to Moody Radio a lot. And when I used to listen to Moody Radio, I was like, wow, this is very interesting. They used to always throw out st- st- statistics about that. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, all of these people don't have money to cover an emergency. I don't want to be a part of that statistic because if something happened, I want to have enough money saved up to be able to fall back on. Of course, we fall back on God, but, you know, it's wise to save up some type of money. And I was like, hmm. And I think about a lot of people in America who experience a lot of rough times in their life, a lot of rough trials. They may can't cover this bill, that bill, and it set them behind. Now they're struggling paycheck to paycheck. And I said, I don't want that to be me. And honestly, currently just moving to Texas is like, whoa, (laughs) God, I'm really trusting you. Um, But I said, I don't want that to be me, honestly, because we should have some type of money saved up. So when I when I read that, it was like, hmm, I want to be a part of that other percentage that got some type of money saved up. And since then, what I started doing was I started to save every paycheck started to save more money, started to put money in my savings, don't touch it, put money in my savings, don't touch it, start an emergency fund, start a savings account, start different things just to build up my money so that I know that I have money there just in case something was to happen, your car was to break down, you don't have to go use your credit card, you don't have to actually go out and beg somebody for money, you don't have to miss out on work, you can pay for it and not have the stress of, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So if you have the luxury to save and the discipline to save, I just want to encourage you to go out and save money. So this podcast is actually very, very short because I just wanted to give you this, the statistic, one of the statistics that encourages encouraged me to say, you know what, I need to start saving. And I hope this really encourages you to start saving, to know that it's a lot of people in this world that if something bad happens right now they're done for and ain't gonna lie (laughs) but i don't want to be one of those people i don't want to be one of those people and i I can honestly say when i was at home with my mom i was saving because i knew i didn't want to be one of those people that when something bad happens you don't got no money saved up so i started to save and save and save but now that i'm out in texas on my own it's like okay we need to start saving more and more because who like <laughs> but there's certain things i'm not going to say online nevertheless um that's pretty much it i hope this statistics really encourages you to start saving yes this is a short finance friday but 
I kept your attention for this long. Start saving some money. Start putting some money aside so that you can have money saved up. And then we'll talk about investing later because I'm not no investing guru. I'm going to tell you the truth. But you can start saving. Saving is something that anybody can have knowledge in. Just start saving your money. This is not something that you have to be a specific. You don't have to reach a certain tax bracket or something to start saving. Even if, if it's even if it's just 50 cent, you know, just say I'm going to save 50 cent. I'm going to save a dollar. I'm going to save a penny. Save something because I know a lot of people we grew up in, you know, a lot of black people for those my my black folks listening. We grew up in households, you know, we save all them quarters and stuff. I don't know if white people do that, too, because I know y'all probably saying, OK, we do that, too. But I'm just speaking from my perspective, because, you know, when we grow up in our culture, we see a lot of things. So we can speak from our culture perspective, just like just like a white person can't go to an audience of black, white, Asian and say, yeah, when we used to grow up and we used to make our casseroles and things like that, a lot of people are not going to relate because we don't eat the same things. We don't do the same things. So that's why I just brought up the analogy, guys. I don't want y'all to just overdo it. But either way, for all my people out there, you know, we used to have the coins. We put a quarter in there, put a quarter in there, and just keep saving our quarters. And then next thing you know, we got like $100 in quarters, $50 in quarters. So even if you do that, it's a, it's a step to saving your money. Start somewhere. And that's just what I want to encourage you guys to go out and do today. So thank you for tuning in to TY Talk. This has been the real. The real is what we just spilled. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video. Like my video. And comment below so we can get intimate, okay? This is going to be an intimate audience of TY Talk. We're going to talk. That's the purpose of this, po of this podcast, to talk. If you're listening, screenshot, post on your story, hashtag, I'm listening to TY Talk. Tag me. And yeah, period. I'm out, y'all. It's been real.